Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome to my new home in Dublin. <laughs> It feels so weird to be back in Ireland and chatting to you all again because it's been a long time since we picked up the camera, hasn't it? Yeah, it feels like ages. We've been home about three weeks now and we haven't vlogged or filmed or anything. We've literally just been relishing in all our holiday vlogs and travel vlogs and just loving editing them and putting them up and seeing everybody's reaction. It's just been wonderful. And it's given us a ton of time to like reflect on it. God, I miss it so much. <laughs> I really wish I was in Europe right now. But we have officially moved into our residence for the foreseeable future, which is absolutely insane. We spent the last three weeks getting the place ready and I'm so excited to show you all the final reveal. It's nowhere near done. We are heading up into the city centre now to grab a few little home decor bits, which is like my favourite thing in the world to do, to make it really nice and pretty and then all shall be revealed. Some things have made me really excited to like leave London and come back to Dublin and this is one of them. Oktoberfest is pretty close to where we live which is so cool. We've lived here on and off for about four years and have never gone to Oktoberfest which is pretty shameful. We just travelled to Munich at the wrong time. We should have gone in October. Do you smell that? What is that? It's, it's like smoke. Smoky charcoal -y goodness. It's the the grills. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited it's to not go this weekend. <laughs> It's so strange being back in Dublin and the Lewis line is finished on O'Connell Street when we left this was not even underway yet and now it's all done the Lewis is running it's fabulous I'll actually be able to get it to work which is unreal it's absolutely incredible the changes that have happened in how long did, are we gone now little over a year and the whole place is so different it feels like we're coming back for the first time it's really nice ah home <laughs> Penny's homer section gives me life these days. If anybody follows them on Facebook, I'm just hoping that they actually have the stock that they claim to have. Fingers crossed. As expected, the homeware is pretty decent. Even Danny is enjoying himself and getting into the spirit of the shopping. I love Danny so much. <laughs> oh, I do. My favourite place to be. <laughs> is it I Danny, yeah? <laughs> Danny is actually being so helpful. I know he's pretending that he doesn't like this kind of stuff, but he really does. And he's getting really into it, although he's telling me to put things back, which I'm not a fan of. <laughs> I feel like such an old woman. I think Danny feels like a bit of a creep because I brought my suitcase to carry my penny shopping in. <laughs> it's so much better on so many levels than ruining my back, so hi ho, sacrifices. I'm basically going to be here all the time now according to my mother however that's not technically true because as far as i'm concerned i will never have officially moved out she's tried to kick me out for years now i'm just i'm just never gonna go sorry ma'am sorry not sorry we're actually seeing more street on a really quiet sunday when the market is not on but if you come down here during the week it's absolutely alive with people selling lovely fruit and vegetables fresh fish it's just fabulous and i'm really excited to come here and get my plastic free vegetables and fruit during the week Thank you so much oh my god we were gone for ages <laughs> oh hello princess so rosie is staying with us for a little while mom and dad are going to a game and we have had to cover our new couches with sheets from pennies just so she doesn't put hair all over them but she is loving life on her own couches oh yeah of course the baby gets her own couch I couldn't have her sitting on the floor or locked outside on the balcony. It would be terrible. I see she's so happy. Oh, I love you. <laughs> let's get the lead. Let's get the keys. And let's get you. <laughs> oh, what's that? What is it? Oh, <gasps> scary. Oh, it's very scary. Oh, it's very scary. Okay. So I just came back up with Rosie and I really wanted to show you a couple of the little bits that I got today. Just kind of little decor pieces that I think would be so cute for autumn coming into Christmas season. So this oh, that nearly went flying there. So I got smoked in amber and moss candles which are absolutely insane and they were a fiver each but they're massive and they're mostly for decorative purposes really <laughs> are you just happy there in the background listening to me talk i also got two throws for a fiver just to pop over the couches here which i think will go really thanks danny they're throws <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> I think they'll go really nice. You can even see the contrast of colors already is really Just nice. So you've done some bad jokes, but that's pretty bad. <laughs> what do you think, Rosie? Bad joke? Bad joke. <laughs> You're so distracting. <laughs> <laughs> I also just got a ton of really crisp white towels and I'm gonna pop them into my hot press. 
sheets and a double fitted sheet for the bed. So that was today's little excursion, nothing crazy. And I will show you completely when it is finished. My bedroom is still in absolute state, but I brought up this little temporary wardrobe to kind of keep me going until we can get our proper wardrobes brought up. They are the same style as these bedside tables. So thanks to mum and dad for that. But I really wanted something where I could organize my work outfits. Obviously I start work tomorrow, so I need to kind of spend the evening getting myself organized, but there's so much to do. Still need to paint this wall here and get it all done. I'm trying to kind of just realistically move from one thing to the next thing to the next thing. So Danny, if you don't mind, whenever you're finished uh, on the floor with the DOG, if you wouldn't mind putting up those curtain poles for me, no. that would be super. Who else feels like building Ikea furniture is like an achievement? I've been sitting here working on this little coat rack and I'm honestly feeling so accomplished. <laughs> I know there are people who absolutely hate doing it, but I'm loving life right now. So my question for you today, have you ever sat and built an Ikea piece of furniture? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Did you have to get help? Did you build it backwards? Let me know in the comment section below. So while Danny cuts the coat rack that I just made with my own fair hands, I'm gonna eat a muffin and watch him do it. <laughs> watching some of our old vlogs and it's hilarious to look back on it. I'm watching the one where I was finding a Valentine's card for Danny that actually he never got purchased in the end which is absolutely hilarious but I'm watching it and I'm just laughing at us because we haven't changed in the slightest. Literally the only thing that's different is my editing has improved slightly and it's only when you can go back and compare videos from this is from February so how long ago is February? March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, what? September. Seven months ago that you can see how much your editing and your style and the way that you come across on camera has changed. Oh yeah that was a good Indian. That's one of the reasons that I am so glad that I might be embarrassed by some of my previous videos but I would never delete them because that is how you go back and you can see how much progress you've made, how different you look in the space of a couple of months. Like I'm just completely plebbing it out today on a Sunday, kind of doing off the apartment and it's just really nice to go back to those days where I was like doing a masters and you really only started the masters. It's just weird how your life kind of progresses and you don't even see it until you look back on something. Watch now coming to the Out Frozen Tree music video where I knew Hacker. Don't be a hater, Danny. Shorter, shorter side view. I honestly don't know what she was thinking about. Down and out. Oh, baby, baby. Hey guys, it's Danny vlogging. Just picking up the camera stick. Shane's coming out to me for not picking it up. Here she is trying to put the thing on. Stop! Stop, I'm trying to do it. Danny. Danny, I'm trying. Just put it on, Jeanette, will you? I'm trying to help. Let me help. Oh, sometimes I swear. Oh. No, it wasn't that worth the wait. Well done, Danny. High five. So, today's video was short and sweet because I did want to get something up on the channel today. When I get more time and we're all more sorted and everything is kind of in its place, I will talk you through step by step what we've actually done. I'll go back to a couple of those clips and talk you through it then. I think that sounds like the best plan. But I really hope you enjoyed having a quick little peek and insight into what we've been up to for the last couple of weeks. Please don't forget to click subscribe before you click away from this video and of course give this video a thumbs up it really does help me out everybody i'll talk to you in my next video bye i have to talk to her between now and then <laughs>